Uh, during his inaugural speech, President Bola Tibibu declared the era of petrol subsidy payment on fuel over. Following that pronouncement, the palm price of petrol increased across Nigeria. This move has left many Nigerians stranded as there have been significant increases in the cost of food and transportation. In this story, just in Nigeria, Zina Bala examines what subsidy removal means for Nigerians, uh, what the country stands to benefit, and what you can do to cope in the short term. No provision is there for fair subsidy. In the wake of this pronouncement made on May 29th during the presidential inauguration, these are some of the sites that showed up in major cities across Nigeria. Before, they used 800 naira for my machine, and the thing is okay, and the business is smoking well. But now, it's almost 1,500 naira before you can fully it and I will not gain it upon that. The Nigerian midstream and downstream petroleum regulatory authority says, Nigeria's estimated 200 million people consume 66.8 million liters of fuel daily. Recently, the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank asked Nigeria to eliminate fuel subsidy, arguing that failure to do so will exacerbate the country's fiscal woes and worsen its debt profile. Many residents of Lagos, Nigeria's commercial capital, are unequivocal about how they're feeling the pinch of the recent subsidy removal and the pump price of petrol. Here is what buyers and sellers at West Africa's largest food market, the Mile 12 market, are saying. As long as the price of fuel increases, the price must increase because motor must add more. Now they are using 5,000 now, carry it. Now, now, now. Now, no, now they, now they increase the fuel. We never know how much they use carry it now. The current market that you know, we are selling it now, we are not increasing anything yet. That is the price we are selling. We don't know how next will be. But now we are selling it to the normal price that we were selling it to before. It depends what I buy, I'm going to sell. That's just it. If it's in increase, it's okay by me. At this fueling station in Obalendi, near Hybro Ikoi on Lagos Island, getting petrol seems tough, Mr. even President with the new Chen pump price. 488 Naira per price per liter is too much for we drivers. Before 50,000, I fill my tank, but now 30,000, I go fill my tank. Since uh, this uh, new uh, pump price coming, so I'm not fill it full time, so I don't know how it will be. Before, I used to fill my tank because when I have half tank inside this car, I'll buy 5,000 naira. But now, I'm buying like 15,000 naira. In Abuja, the Nigerian capital, the narrative seems more intense. If I'm to feed this car, the car, full tank of this car now, I'll be talking of 42,000. And how much is my take home? So how can they expect a common Nigerian to survive with, the, with this particular price of oil? Me buying oil at, at 500 naira per litre is too much, please. Already I told my staffs in the office not to come to the office. Uh, I have to, they have to be doing shifts now just because of the hardship. Transportation has really gone up and they can't really. They can't really cope anymore. We they carry from here before to Lube, 300 naira. But now, now 500 though. So, and they still, when I, when they beg the passenger, then they beg us too. My goods, where, where are they buy before? I they buy them with low price. How I go sell even 50 naira again? But now, it's high. We have, you know, demoralized our own markets. Reasons is that we buy things cost. Because even this goat now, people who carry it, like go to about buying 30,000 before. If you go to Abata to buy that goat now, you will not buy it 50,000. For Zuba here, to inside markets here, 9,500. Now what I use carry six bars of crayfish. 
people don't buy things the way they used to buy, unlike before, when it was normal. In neighboring Benin Republic, some residents told the BBC that the moves to end subsidy in Nigeria has caused a petrol price surge to about 800 sefer, from 450 sefer. Subsidies became institutionalized in 1977 following the promulgation of the Price Control Act, which made it illegal for some products, including petrol, to be sold above the regulated price. This law was introduced by the General Olusegun Obasanjo regime in order to cushion the effect of the global Great Inflation Era of the 1970s, caused by a worldwide increase in energy prices. Subsidy became a buzzword since 1986 under General Ibrahim Babangida's regime, when the first attempts were made to remove it. The pump price of petrol increased a few times, and there was even an attempt to separate private users from commercial operators, which was introduced under the Structural Adjustment Program but was ultimately abandoned. In 2012, then-President Goodluck Jonathan announced that his administration was no longer going to fund subsidy, an announcement that triggered widespread protests by labor unions, civil society groups, and opposition party leaders, including President Bola Tinubu, who was then a leader of the Action Congress. The protests lasted for a little over one week, and government was forced to backtrack. In 2015, former President Muhammad Buhari described subsidy as a fraud. Yet, his administration retained the policy, and according to the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, it serviced subsidy with 11.7 trillion naira between 2016 and 2023. According to the Debt Management Office, the Buhari administration left Nigeria with a debt of 77 trillion naira. Its finance minister, Zainab Ahmed, said subsidy payments were financed through debts because state coffers had been depleted. President Bola Tinubu has expressed concerns about the sustainability of the subsidy regime. He argues that the previous administration had budgeted and approved funds for subsidy only for the first half of the year, and that by the end of June, government would be left without funds for it. So. What exactly does subsidy removal mean? Petroleum expert Wisdom Enang provides a breakdown. The removal of fuel subsidy uh, simply means that um, we are taking out government's influence uh, and, and uh, financial contributions towards our fuel consumption. Uh, the landing cost of fuel is uh, above 450. And then if you add all that cost, it takes us to the retail price that we buy at um, you know, the current price at about uh, you know, between 488 and about 535 Naira. Um, before now, the government will simply pay a big part of that amount and then we only pay less than uh, 184 Naira for most parts of uh, Nigeria. How will subsidy removal affect average Nigerians financially? The ramification on the people on the street is uh, multifaceted. Uh, the fact is that, um, one, we are going to see this impact in increase in prices in various states. We know that um, oil is actually linked with a lot of our economic activities. In, uh, in, because we don't have good electricity, we all rely on one form of uh, um, generators or the rest. So that has implications in terms of um, how much you actually need to fill to do business or also to do other activities, uh, likely and whatever. But also it has effect on transport costs, it has, it, it has all sort of effects um, on the ordinary people. Um, that's, um, it's, it, it's one of the reasons why subsidy is a major uh, policy issue. Following President Tinubu's announcement, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited released a statement endorsing the president's plan. Removal of petroleum subsidy in Nigeria is long overdue. 
uh, looking at the cost uh, of the subsidy because over the years uh, we did a, a study and we found out that in 20 years we spent 16 trillion naira uh, paying for petroleum subsidy and that came at huge cost in Nigeria. But knowing that this was coming and knowing that there's 30 days, one of the things the government could have done very easily was to, you know, to have, even, even if it's a, a couple of marketers, have a strategic reserve of oil in place, like a strategic volume of, I don't know, it might be maybe even for 150 days. We know how much that would be. Set some money aside and then begin to put in all these other measures. Because the idea that we're going to develop, put money in roads or put money in health, the, or put money in education, these are all sectors that, you know, by and large are lagging. On the flip side, the Nigeria Labour Congress has kicked against the plan, citing a lack of transparency and a history of corruption in government spending. NMPC doesn't have the monopoly to act illegally, even as a private company. The NLC met, therefore, directed all state councils and all industrial units to commence mobilization from this moment. The union had given the government till Tuesday, 6th June 2023, to reverse the increment or it will embark on a nationwide protest backed by an indefinite strike on Wednesday, 7th June 2023. But after hours of meeting with government representatives on Monday in Abuja, NLC President Joe Adjero said the planned strike has been suspended. The NLC and the Trade Union Congress are expected to continue negotiations with government in two weeks' time to agree on an implementation framework. In the meantime, what can citizens do to alleviate the effect of subsidy removal on their finances? The adjustment window is very, very short. And I think we would need to actually draw more government intervention, but also our social network as individual and as a society. I mean, we need to draw a sort of support in order to make sure that individual coping strategy uh, can, be, can, can be built. Um, we need to also look at uh, probably uh, how we can innovate and run better ways we can actually also manage uh, all of this. President Tunubu recently emphasized his commitments to negotiating a new national minimum wage that is in line with current realities. At a glance, one might think it's politically risky for the Bola Tinubu administration to start on a rocky foundation of scrapping Nigeria's fuel subsidy. However, experts say if implemented properly, fuel subsidy removal will strengthen the Nigerian economy and may be an important legacy of President Tinubu's administration. Zainab Bala, just Nigeria. Hopefully, government is able to provide respite for over 200 million Nigerians. Twitter us at Just Nigeria TV would like to hear from you.